happy Tuesday. If you just happen to drop in to my channel and you are new here, hi, I'm Chazels Renee and thank you so much for being here with me today. So if you are one of my days. lovely returning subscribers, hi my loves, I hope you're all doing well on this Tuesday. So I have Chazels here <gasps> on Eternity Isle. And we are here because yesterday I did a build for an outdoor sushi bar restaurant. And Chazel is going to need a nice little dress to go along with the build. I could have just used the Mulan dress that she is wearing now. But I wanted to create something inspired for cherry blossom season. And the sushi bar restaurant does have a lot of cherry blossom trees in it. So I just thought it would be super cute to give her her own Sakura style kimono. So that is what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be designing a lovely dress for Chazels. So if you love speed builds and if you love custom dress designs, then you definitely want to stick around because this is going to be a speed decorating custom design video. And if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up on your way out. And please consider subscribing because I do custom dress designs every week as well as speed builds and so much other content that you guys would all enjoy. So if you would love to subscribe, then please do so because you will be helping my channel grow as well. But anyways, guys, let's get into the speed dress design and thank you so much again for being here. So starting off with the custom of this dress, I went ahead and selected the basic long sleeve gown and then I just changed the default color to the lightest pink that I could find and that is going to be the basic default color for the dress. So after I chose the default color of the dress, I knew that I wanted it to seem like she had a white undershirt underneath her kimono. And for that effect, I just went ahead and took the triangle shape pattern, changed the color to white, and then just pulled it all the way up to her chest and placed it on the center where her kimono would be covering it. So for the outer part of the hem of the kimono, I went ahead and chose the long rectangle shape and then I changed the default color to a darker pink tone, kind of like a rose pink. And then I shrunk it down a little bit, brought it all the way up to her chest and then just laid it across the chest so it looks like it is angling downward. I grabbed another one of those long rectangle pattern shapes, again with the rose pink tone, and then just laid it across the chest again, same as the other one before, but this time I made sure that they connected to each other. So for the other side of the actual hem that is going to be showing on the kimono, you're going to do the exact same thing with those rectangle shaped patterns and you're going to be following the side of the triangle and then just laying it down right next to it. So for the snatched waist effect in the kimono or waistband, kind of like corset style waist, we are going to be using that same rose pink color, but instead of using the rectangle shape, we are going to be using the square shape. And we're just going to lie it right across the front of her waist. 
So we are going to be doing the same thing we did in the front for the corset part to the back as well, but it's going to be a little different. So you're going to have to shrink your square down completely small and then center it right in the back and then you're just going to maximize it until it connects as much as it can to the front of the square. So as you can see, I am left with quite a few holes on the side of her waist, but that is okay. So we are going to be covering those with another piece of square, and you're going to shrink it down as much as you can until it is almost covering all of the holes that are showing. If you still have a little bit of holes showing on the side that aren't covered up with these squares, then you can just kind of find different shapes that work best to fit to cover it up. In my case, I found that the triangle shape had more angles that were needed to cover the rest of the holes, so that is what I ended up using to finish off that corset waist band. So now we are going to finish off that outer hem part of the kimono and you're just going to be doing the same thing you did for the upper chest part area for the kimono. You're going to be taking those pink rose colored rectangle shapes and then just overlapping them on each other, connecting them until it gets all the way down to the bottom of the dress and finishes it off. So now we're at the portion of the dress where we can actually start decorating it with those cherry blossom flowers. And I used a combination of white flourishes, the flowers, and then I also added some dark rose pink colored um, kind of like leaves, but in my case I wanted them to look like the cherry blossom branches. So that is what I ended up using to decorate my kimono. So for all of the shapes and patterns that I am using to decorate the kimono, you really don't have to copy my design. You can place your cherry blossom flowers wherever you like, your flourishes wherever you like. I'm kind of just putting them where I think they would look the best. Um, one going down the side of her waist and then I just place the rest of the detailed decor on the bottom of her dress.
So for the tying portion around the corset cinched waist, I didn't want to do a traditional tie. I wanted to do like a clasp belt. So I ended up using a combination of fairy godmother's wands, the motif, and then I kind of just connected them together where the pixel dust was in the front. And then I just laid the cherry blossom flower right over that pixel dust. So it almost looks like there's little tiny petals falling from the flower. I also ended up doing the exact same thing to the back of the dress so that the back matched the front. All right, lovely. So we are at the end of this Sakura style kimono and I wanted to add some detail on her wrist area of the dress. So I ended up just grabbing one of those rectangle shapes again and then I just wrapped it around her wrist. All right guys, I am all done with my Sakura style kimono. Um, it didn't take too long. I really love the way that it came out. I think the colors of the pink are spot on with the cherry blossom trees. Let me just do a quick turnaround. Oh, we have the forgotten here to join us. I guess she wants some attention. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me get close up again. Definitely really cute. Love the way that it came out. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing if you love this speed custom design on this dress. There are going to be so many more custom design speed builds in the future. So like I said, if you guys really enjoyed this one, then definitely give this video a like and please consider subscribing. Again, you will help my channel grow and you will make sure to catch these awesome designs that I create. But thank you guys so much for being here, my loves. You guys are so amazing. And once again, thank you for taking the time to sit through this speed build dress design design um, i hope you guys enjoyed it again and until the next one guys enjoy your tuesday and bye loves